In this video, I'm going to go over lasers, types of lasers that I use. Right in front of me here, I have a bunch of diode lasers. So there's a light emitting diode and a focusing tool that emits a beam of light. I've also worked a lot with CO2 lasers, and I may go over those in another video. But first, we're going to look at diodes. Also, if you're trying to engrave things like metal or cut through metal, neither diodes or CO2 lasers will do very well. You can go very high-powered CO2 and cut through things like steel, but cutting through aluminum will be even more difficult. Diode lasers are great for cutting through woods and acrylic. They can cut through other things, too. They cut through felt really nice, actually. They cut through quite a few things, but typically you'll probably want to use acrylic or wood to cut through. They also engrave very nice. So you can get these great grayscale engravings with wood with these, with some of them. And we'll I'll explain that in just a second. So here we have a 5.5 watt diode. It's a blue light. It's about $140. Okay. We have a 3 watt diode. Another blue light, about $80. Then we have... An 800 milliwatt UV diode. These are about $35. A half watt or 500 milliwatt UV diode. These are also about $35. And then we have these new lasers, these Ortur lasers. They came out with machines about two years ago. And I'm actually really happy with the quality versus price on these. And so this is a three and a half watt diode. It's a uh, it's a blue diode. It's got the driver built in. And then this is a 20-watt diode. And none of these put out what they say they do. So this one definitely doesn't put out 20 watts. But it sure cuts nice. So I've had a lot of success, success cutting wood with this. But these are about $150 to $200 on AliExpress. So $140 on eBay. $80 on eBay. $35 on AliExpress. 35 on AliExpress or eBay. This was 60, I believe, on AliExpress, and this was 140, I believe, on AliExpress. And this is a half watt diode. So this and this, both the same thing. The shield's removed from this one, but very happy with this. I've had this in here for about three years. Three years, yeah, about three years. It's ran thousands and thousands of hours, right? Never giving me a single bit of grief. The light output hasn't diminished whatsoever. Uh, just works. I'm really happy with it. So I have burnt out many lasers before. I've burnt out a lot of 3 watts. And a lot of these 800 milliwatt UV diodes, I've burnt out a lot of them. It actually has uh, this little blue potentiometer up here. You can turn that up and down to increase the max power. And I believe they came set wrong from the factory and were too high and got burnt out. What I like to do is I'll turn them all the way down and then turn it on, right? And so all the way down doesn't mean all the way off. It still puts out a little bit of light. But I'll uh, turn it up to where it just starts engraving and then turn it up a little bit from there because... If I'm using a UV diode that's low power, I don't want fast. I want high quality, high definition engraving. Lots of contrast, very sharp lines. And so I'll turn this down pretty low, actually, and that way the diode will actually last. On these other half watts, they don't have that. They're just set. So this is an 800 milliwatt. This is a 500 milliwatt, a little weaker, but I still like them. They're still my favorite. They have this little button on them, this little brass button. And when it's plugged in and turned on, I can hit this button, and it will turn on the laser at a very weak power. And that's great for focusing it. So now I can look at it with my bare eyes because it's less than five, five milliwatts of actual output. And I can focus it. So what do I use these for? 
These three watts are the perfect general purpose laser. They do a great job of doing grayscale engravings. They do a great job of black and white high speed engravings. They can also cut. I've had a lot of success cutting 8th inch acrylic. I can cut black 8th inch acrylic and orange 8th inch acrylic. I've also had success cutting uh, birch with it. So not all birches, not all birch plywood is the same. If you get a 5x5 five five sheet, typically it uses a laser safe glue in there. If you pick up a 4x8 sheet of birch, I've had less success with those. They use a glue that just chars and stays there. It doesn't quite get removed. So make sure you know what type of wood you're picking. Make sure it's a laser-friendly wood. I've also cut pine with it. There's pine plywood at a local store, at a local hardwood store, and they'll sell pine plywood. And this thing can cut through it, this 3-watt diode here. Now... This is a 20 watt. This is uh, one of the newer ones I've been playing with. And this thing cuts great. It can go through quarter inch acrylic real easy. It goes through eighth inch birch really fast. I like it. It leaves a nice line. It does a lot of removing. And so that's something to keep in mind where I said this one is great all purpose. There's great engravings. There's great cutting, right? It's slower than this, but... It still does a really good job. So if I were to try to do an engraving with this high power diode, it won't actually get that dark. What happens with the high powers is it hits the material so hard it starts removing it. It doesn't leave it there charred. It actually vaporizes it and it gets removed. And so if you look underneath, if you look at the engravings, they're not, not actually that dark. They're like this darker brown, but it's not like black. Like these half watts and these 800 milliwatt UV diodes leave the material there, but they, they leave it there black and really dark. So if I want a high contrast engraving, I need to be able to get my engraving to go from all the way dark, like a black, to like nothing. And these things cannot leave them all the way black. They can go deep. They start digging deeper and they can get pretty dark, but you're going pretty deep to get very dark. So now you got all this texture on it too. And you might not want that texture. So what I've started doing on a lot of my machines is I'll have a half watt diode and anywhere from a five and a half to 20 watt diode all along the same head here. And so it moves both them back and forth and I can switch between what's on and off. If I'm looking to do a lot of cutting, I'm going to go with the higher power one. If I'm just looking to do engraving, I'm going to stick with the lower power ones because it leaves it there charred, and it can also get to a really fine focus. The higher power ones cannot focus as well. And if I just want to stick with a single laser to do everything, I'm going to use a 3 to 3.5 watt diode. So, yeah, those are the diodes I use. And that's what I use them for. Thanks for watching.